Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to convert selected features from a REST service into a shapefile. So sometimes we get URLs from data sources such as this. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can follow along. So if I copy out this URL and I go to my ArcGIS map and I go to under map, add data, data from path, and I paste in that URL, leave the default setting here, and click Add. So what this is doing is pulling that REST service data from the data source into our map. And there's a lot of benefits from that because when data is updated from the, uh, the source, it's immediately pushed through to your, to your map. So I'm going to actually darken the, up these parcels a little bit more just to kind of help out with this demonstration. There we go. Okay, say we want to, well, first of all, if we wanted to export out this parcel data, sometimes what we do is we right click onto the data source, go to data and export features, but that's all grayed out. It's not available. So sometimes what we do is select out some parcels same thing, we'd right click on that data source, go to data and export features. Again, it's not available. But what we could do, say if this is the area that we want to export the data from, if we go to our analysis tools and we type in feature class to shapefile, look at that. Our input features are obviously going to be this layer right here. And already it says the input has, uh, has a selection. So we have 403 parcels selected. And that's exactly what we want. These selected parcels exported out to our output folder. In this case, I'm going to put it to my demo folder. And I'm going to click on Run. Should take a moment. And... Now I go over to my catalog, my folder, my demo folder. I might just click refresh. There we go. So our Virginia parcels, I'll right click onto that and click add to map. And right there, you can see that these parcels have been added. And the great thing is that it includes the attribute table. So all the data that was in the original data source is now into our shape file. I'm going to right click over here to the other data source so you can see. So, hope you found that useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And as always, if you find value in this video and my other videos, I really appreciate if you uh, click like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.